is no free Wi-Fi, and I'm going to be talking about the school shootings in Green Valley. <laughs> no. If you don't know, um, <clears throat> in America, most schools have started uh, this Monday, or when I record this, when I post this, it would be uh, August 13th is when we started school, and there's already been a school shooting. There's been multiple examples of this at Green Valley and many other schools in in and around that school, and I'm just gonna talk about you know. You know, just gun control in general. Like, I don't know how are students, high school students, getting guns, and they're not even seniors, and it hasn't even been a full week of school, and they already like shooting people up. It's just we need more regulations on guns. I'm not saying that we should ban all guns because not all people with guns are bad, but like. How are we? How are the high school students just getting access to guns like this? That's not. That shouldn't be the case. Like, it just sh- should be more restrictions, like more backup checks, more age restrictions for when you can get a gun. Like, how many guns you can actually own? Because like the Vegas shooting that happened in 2016. It was a travesty, and this guy had like seven guns on him, and he was he had history with, well, the news said he had history with mental illness, and even if he did, why would you sell someone with a history of mental illness a gun? Like, you know that they're emotionally and mentally unstable, yet you're still buying them a gun. I don't understand. It's like... What's the point? And like, so many people get guns because it's like for protection or whatever. But <clears throat> most people, when they rob a house, they don't have guns. They have like baseball bats or something. Just like get a knife in the kitchen or whatever, you know? And like, what's the point of having all these guns? Like, if it's for protection, you shouldn't need to buy a sniper. Like. How are you gonna be able, why are you buying a sniper? That's not for protection. Like you don't snipe people two miles away from your house thinking they're gonna, they're gonna rob it. Like, I don't understand. And I also think like, how many guns should one person have? Like, Like the guy at the Vegas shooting, he had seven. That seems a little bit, like a little bit excessive you don't need no one in this world needs seven guns not even the people in the army carry seven guns with them when they're in battle seven guns is just too excessive not one no one person needs seven guns at once especially if you have mental issues it's not it's not okay and Children get to guns very easily. Like I think that's how high school students get these guns all the time is because their parents don't watch your guns enough or like people just figure out how to get them and they just get them. That's dangerous. And even if you put them in a safe, then it's not for, for protection. You can't put things in a safe and call it protection because someone breaks into your house you can't go to the safe and and quickly protect yourself from the person okay it's not gonna happen Australia has banned all guns and everyone was going crazy about it but now like the world is better in Arizona and not Arizona (laughs) Uh, Australia because there's no guns like they just banned all guns. There was not as much violence as there was before. Now school shootings, because how are you going to shoot at the school? The only way that you can get a gun is from the black market, and it's like thousands of dollars. And what's the point of shooting people up if you have thousands of dollars? You're rich already. 
Like, you don't need to rob nothing if you can afford that much for a gun. And I'm not saying that Americans should ban guns, but we should definitely have more rules on them. If we don't have enough rules on them, then people are just going to do whatever they want. And that shootings are going to happen all the time, anywhere. So it's like, I don't understand. Wouldn't it just be easier to ban guns so none of this would happen? We wouldn't have all these issues happening if we just ban guns like we should. But we're not gonna ban guns because this is America, the country of the free, even though almost all English speaking countries are free anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just think that people should only be able to get like two guns per person or per household, I don't know. We just make it easier and that maybe we should only have the um, semi-automatic guns. I think that's what they're called, where whenever you pull the trigger, that's the only time it shoots instead of holding the trigger and it's shooting like, you know, like an assault rifle. Uh, and it's like, almost uh, like pistols or something like that, you know? And yeah, I think that's it <laughs> for my uh, video on gun control and the uh, school shootings in Green Valley. So I hope you like it. And we have more breaking news to tell you about. A teen has been arrested after bringing a gun to school. It happened this morning at Green Valley High School, and that's where we find 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazara. And Gina, the Clark County School District says that that gun was loaded. That's right, Carl. The first day of school had barely started here at Green Valley High School when teachers noticed a student was acting a little strange. That's what prompted staff to search the 16 year old things. And that's when they found out the unidentified student had a nine millimeter loaded gun on him. A few students I spoke with said they were in homeroom when they learned about the incident about nine o'clock this morning. But many other students actually had no idea a loaded gun was even brought to school today. That might be due to the fact school was not disrupted by the incident and there wasn't even a lockdown. Students were thrilled with how quickly police acted to get the situation under control. Back out here live, the 16 year old was charged with possession of a weapon on school property. Well, off to a very scary start. A student is under arrest accused of bringing a loaded gun to school. And right now I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, like first day of school and it's just like, whoa, that's just crazy. That was Eric Smith's reaction when he heard one of his classmates brought a loaded gun to school on the first day of the 2018-2019 school year. You know, it's scary, but you know, thankfully the police were here to stop it for anything escalated. Other students, like Wisdom, did not even know about it by the time she left school. Here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You don't know? No. That's kind of freaky. I mean, I remember last year there were a couple threats made to the school. But it never like they it never followed through because I caught the guy before. But that's that's pretty freaky. 